Melanin. What makes black people black? Biochemical blackness. Layla Africa. How to protect it, how to nourish melanin difference between black and white people, how it causes emotional behaviors and thoughts, how it is being destroyed. Forward. The subject of melanin is straightforward and simple to explain. Melanin is the biochemical substance that drives physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual life. What makes the subject difficult to explain is the awkward primitive Latin language that is used in science. Any attempt to avoid the use of the Latin language of chemistry and biology makes information appear unscientific and unintelligent. This was the challenge in writing about melanin, having to write in everyday language and trying to avoid science Latin jargon. The lectures and books on melanin are very Latin jargon centered. Most black people that read about melanin say what good is it? It does not help you to be free. They of course are correct. A black person is unaware of melanin is manipulated and controlled by their unawareness. Black people need to know the basics about melanin and how to nourish melanin so they can get some positive use from it. Black people are controlled by their failure to realize that the black race is a melanin dominate race. The key to controlling black people is to reduce their blackness, melanin usage and knowledge. This will reduce their very ability to be black, which will directly affect their ability to be human and seek what is humanly theirs freedom. Black people are a race nourishing themselves as if they are Caucasians. Since the Caucasians have the least amount of melanin, then black people that eat as if they are Caucasians are giving themselves the least amount of nourishment to their melanin. This causes them to utilize their melanin the least. Therefore, black people are nutritionally against their own melanin and anti-melanin. They are ignorantly fighting against melanin and themselves. In this writing I have briefly attempted to reveal melanin's properties and how the human body biochemically uses and nourishes it. The black race is under education, diseducation, dysfunctional, and miseducation about melanin merely reflects one particle of their white domination and post-traumatic colonialism trauma and post-traumatic slavery trauma. Black people must know thyself and to know yourself is to know melanin. About pineal and melanin. The scientific literature has very few objective facts and many, many science principles and rules are subjective fairy tale stories called theory. All theories are unproven and unscientific. The objective facts are that black people are a race that has the highest amount of the biochemical pigment called melanin. Melanin is a civilizing chemical, reproduces itself, a free radical protector, can be transformed in the blood, concentrates nerve and brain information, neutralizes, oxidizes, break down, converts substances, reduces, builds another substance and is unchanged by radiation and high temperatures. Melanin is inside and outside the body. The more melanin a race has the more humane and civilized the race. Science myths, theory, have clouded and avoided the true information about melanin and the pineal gland that secretes melanin. Melanin is the vital chemical that makes life itself. It is usually brown to black in color. Melanin is a flexible like plastic, can resemble a cloud, gas, wood, metal, or liquid and takes on many forms without losing its structure. It is heat resistant, can endure temperatures of 1225 degrees Fahrenheit, has a pleasant odor, resists x-ray diffraction, resists strong acids and alkaline, etc. Melanin is found in the environment, springs, lakes, soil, plants, atmosphere and animals. The pituitary gland, which is a gland in the middle of the brain that secretes growth hormones, has been erroneously called the master gland. However, the pineal gland, which is also in the middle of the brain, is the true master gland. The pineal gland secretes melanin, which regulates all bodily functions and glands, cycles, circadian rhythms, in the body. Melanin is a biochemical that has a high molecular weight. This means it has many functions and links like a chain that contains carbon nitrogen, ether, saturated carbon carbon, unsaturated carbon carbon, organometallic, peroxides and is essentially a black carbon hydroamine. These various links allows melanin to be a polymer, takes many forms, and polycyclic, many rhythms, and have a unique property and flexible chemical ability. Melanin is made by cells called melanocytes. 
Inside the melanocytes are smaller organs, organelle, called melanosome which make melanin. Inside the endoplasmic reticulum the melanosomes are made. In other words, small cells build bigger cells, bigger cells build larger cells, and the end product of all the building from a small particle into a larger particle is the chemical melanin. Melanin essentially produces itself with substances such as copper. Melanin absorbs all types of energy such as sunlight, electromagnetic, music heard by the human ear and sounds the human ear cannot hear, phone waves, radio waves, radar, computer radiation, x-ray, cosmic rays, ultraviolet rays, heat waves, microwaves, etc. Melanin uses the energy in the total environment such as water energy, earth, moon, sun, galaxy, cycles of planets, cycles of planets, cycles of minerals, etc. On the molecular level, the melanin particles called electrons, protons, neutrons, and solitons rearrange their orbits. This is called resonance. In other words, the melanin particles vibrate and rearrange themselves to fill the weak, low, energy sites. Resonance causes a particle to move. This movement causes a small gap, low energy, sight and the other particles rearrange themselves to double bond shift, fill the gap. Melanin is the natural chemical that makes black people's skin black. It is present in black people's bodies, skin, cells, nerves, brain, muscles, bones, reproductive and digestive systems, and all bodily functions in a higher amount than all other races. Melanin is a biological active substance of various size cells. It is made of nutrients such as indoles, histamines, phenylalanine, catecholamines, norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, etc., and the amino acid tyrosine. Melanin is made of various attached parts called chains which are linked to unsaturated carbon-carbon, saturated carbon-carbon, carbon-nitrogen, organometallic, ether. Peroxides and quinine which are brown to black in color. Chemicals such as flavin, pteridines, flavonoid, naphthquinone, polycycliquinone, anthraquinone, phenoxazones, convert into melanin, polymerize or copolymerize. The color of melanin appears as black because it is absorbing all colors. Once the color enters the melanin it cannot escape. Melanin is concentrated colors. It is a cellular black hole similar to the black holes in outer space. The human eye only sees colors that are reflected away from an object. If an object appears black in color, that means that the object is absorbing all colors except black. Black is reflected away from the object, consequently, you see black. Black is a pigment, color, that makes carbon black in appearance. Melanin Melanin is an organic dark carbon chemical pigment substance. Melanin gives black people's eyes iris a brown color and gives the dark color to their hair, skin, and the substantia nigra of the brain. This is an area of the brain where the cerebrum connects to the pons. Melanin is secreted by the pineal gland. The pineal gland has a pine cone shape, is reddish in color, and the stem of it is approximately half an inch in length, and the head of it is slightly smaller than a green pea, and the total weight is about 2 grams. The pineal gland consists of nerve cells similar to those in the retina nerve of the eye. The retina nerve is inside the eyeball and receives light stimulation which it transmits to the brain. The pineal gland is found inside a fluid-filled space inside the middle of the brain called the third ventricle and it is attached inside the ventricle. The pineal stimulates the growth of the nervous system's cerebrum, thinking brain part called gray matter. Therefore, an understimulated pineal in childhood can decrease thinking ability in adulthood. The melanin content of the nerves is highest in black people. Melanin allows nerve messages to travel fast without resistance causing superconductivity. Black people have the highest amount of melanin on the upper part of the spinal cord, brainstem, where the lower part of the brain connects to the spinal cord. The melanin concentrates on the brain's locus ceruleus in the fourth ventricle and reticular formation, black dots. This causes the brain to store more information and function at a high level. The function of the botus melanin and the brain's melanin is reduced by steroids, cortical adrenals, stimulants, synthetic speeds, cocaine, caffeine, antidepressants, anticholinergics, and unnatural light. 
The pineal helps to regulate the hypothalamus glands release factors that stimulate the pituitary to secrete the follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and aids the luteinizing hormone, LH. FSH stimulates the ovaries and the movement of sperm and LH stimulates egg and sperm production. Consequently, a black person with an understimulated pineal or one that uses drugs or eats processed, junk food, foods will harm the pineal and have reproductive problems. The processed foods and drugs impact the pineal. The pineal regulates insulin levels, the adrenal cortex and the adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. ACTH is secreted by the pituitary and is essential for physical and mental growth and development. In other words, a black person's level of thinking, mental growth, needed to solve their racist problems cannot be achieved with a low amount of melanin caused by an understimulated pineal. The melanin secreted by the pineal aids the posterior pituitary's effect on the hormone oxytocin. Oxytocin stimulates uterine contraction during the birth of a baby. Oxytocin is similar to morphine. It is one of the main hormones that causes people to bond to each other, mother and child, man and woman, friends with friends. Black people with inadequate melanin levels will have problems getting along together, unity, forming positive groups, and will constantly destroy each other. They will lack the energy to sustain unity because natural bodily made sugars regulated by melanin cannot be utilized. This is the result of inadequate insulin. The pancreas insulin hormone takes the natural sugars, not white sugar etc., out of the blood and puts it into tissue. The melanin's inability to regulate insulin causes mood swings, irritability, and low energy. The liver's ability to make bile is potentiated by melanin. The pineal's melanin hormones act on the liver, and if inadequate, this will decrease the gallbladder's digestive bile fluid secretion. This results in unstable energy and moods. The pineal stimulates the nervous system and the brain. Consequently, brain function is compromised and the type of thinking needed to create ideas to solve emotional, mental, and spiritual problems is not sufficient. The pineal gland's ability to secrete melanin is sunlight dependent. The sun radiates full color spectrums of light. Full spectrum light striking the eye's retina nerve stimulates the pineal gland to secrete melanin. Melanin turns into serotonin hormone and melatonin hormone. Black people that spend vast amounts of time indoors and out of sunlight or are exposed to the visual pollution of artificial light, sunglasses, television, reflected light of concrete, bricks, highways and buildings, window glass, contact lens, monitors, television screens and fluorescent lights, wireless cell phones, earphones and cars tend to have mild depression. A polluted environment, public drinking water, noise pollution, negative moods or social situations, acidic bodily conditions, lack of exercise, processed foods, synthetic drugs and computers decrease melanin production and the stimulation of the pineal. This visual pollution can result in mild depression because the pineal gland is deprived of sunlight and exposed to negative stimulation. When children are deprived of sunlight, it can cause physical and emotional problems. Children who spend many hours indoors, school buildings, playing video games, viewing television, and using artificial light are deprived of sunlight. Sunlight deprivation results in an understimulated pineal causing the child to grow up and become an adult with decreased reproductive function, decreased gonad weight. In adult animals that have no reproductive organ, gonad, due to castration, the pineal gets small and the pituitary gets large. Sunlight deprivation decreases the stimulation of the pineal, almost similar to a castration state condition, which causes one to conclude that the same effect happens with people equals pineal shrinks and pituitary enlargement. The understimulated pineal decreases, inhibits, the reproductive organs, gonads, response to gonadotrophins. This causes a decreased weight of the ovaries and testicles. The pineal gland increases sperm production and helps with female fertility. The pineal gland increases progesterone hormone made by the corpus luteum. Also, the pineal's melanin secretions help produce melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that synchronizes the rhythmicity of the body. It helps to control the circadian rhythm. The body has a circadian cycle rhythm for digesting food. 
Food ideally should be eaten from 12, noon to 7 p.m., metabolized into the blood from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m., and from 4 a.m. to noon the body is cleansing. The pineal gland secretion of melanin converts into serotonin, then melatonin. These hormones need darkness and sunlight to stabilize the rhythm of the body. Sunlight deprivation destabilizes the circadian rhythm causing seasonal affective disorder, SAD. This is associated with abnormal melatonin activity. SAD depression symptoms can be relieved with daily exposure to sunlight and to full-spectrum artificial light bulbs and the use of melatonin supplement. Melatonin supplements along with optimal nutrition, adequate darkness, and sunlight are vital. Melatonin release is stimulated by noradrenaline, norepinephrine, low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, darkness, and dopamine. The addition of a melatonin supplement helps dopamine to calm the emotions and body, helps tryptophan to make serotonin, helps stop antibodies produced by corticosteroids, decreases the growth of certain types of cancers, causes sedation and sleep, and decreases the growth of tumors. Melatonin is dependent upon melanin and melanin is dependent upon the pineal gland and healthy nutrition, whole unprocessed, unchemicalized foods. Melanin Hormones the pineal gland makes alkaloids. An alkaloid is an organic, means contains carbon, substance that reacts to salts. A salt in chemistry is a chemical compound that is created when an acid and alkaline substance interact. A salt has a positive charged electrical element other than hydroxyl, commonly called acid, because the alkaloids react to salt that uses them. Salts are used in the body to maintain stable nerves, water balance, regulate the blood volume, are essential for digestion enzymes, hormones, control thickness of the blood, coagulation, pressure inside cells, osmotic, respiratory pigments, and acid-base balance. This means that melanin hormones are the primary controller of human life itself. The salts referred to are not table salt chemically known as the poison sodium chloride. Chloride is a type of bleach, but the salt of sulfates, phosphates, chloride, carbonates, bicarbonates which are combined with calcium, magnesium, and potassium. The alkaloid serotonin hormone is stimulated by sunlight and full-spectrum artificial light. It is secreted into the blood during daylight hours. Serotonin connects to other substances, polymerizes, and forms into melanin. It causes muscles to contract, blood vessels to constrict, regulates blood pressure, and has the ability to alter consciousness, improvise other realities. Consequently, the heightened ability to create spontaneously, improvise, is a characteristic of black people's music, i.e. jazz, dance, acting, dress styles, hairstyles, language usage, inventions, science, art, and culture. The alkaloid melatonin is made by the pineal gland. It is secreted into the blood after sunset and reaches its highest levels around 10 p.m. This alkaloid connects to other substances, polymerizes, and forms melanin. It helps maintain, repair, and build brain and nerve tissue. Consequently, it is good for all brain and nerve damage diseases such as lupus, Alzheimer's, attention deficient, a form of senility, Parkinson, senility, memory loss, numbness, and tingling of nerves. Melanin synchronizes body functions, helps to maintain the circadian rhythm, stimulates secretion of milk and contractions of the uterus, triggers puberty, increases electrical brain wave activity, regulates blood pressure, induces sleep, stimulates improvising and gives a positive effect on emotions and creates a feeling of well-being and joy. The alkaloid serotonin and melatonin contain a similar structure as other alkaloids. It is the aromatic benzene structure and amino groups that cause the melanin hormones to easily chemically merge with dangerous drugs such as crack, ritalin, cocaine, caffeine, codeine morphine, mescaline, etc. Black people with their higher melanin content are twice as addicted to synthetic drugs than other races. White domination which uses the myth of white supremacy defended by white racism have created and maintained the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, global, social, and cultural oppression of black people. This causes black people to take drugs, use sex, violence, white sugar, gambling, and abuse of each other to emotionally and psychologically escape the oppressive condition. 
A social condition created by white domination that causes black people to socially, emotionally, and physically kill themselves is by definition genocide. The drugs kill and have an effect on the mind and the physical body of black people which means they act upon melanin. The drugs are anti-melanin and against black culture. The many substances which are made from melanin are good in the correct concentration, i.e. alkaloids, and ratios. Alkaloids are organic nitrogen substances which are destructive, corrosive, metallic hydroxides, ammonium, carbonates. When alkaloids are made by the human body, they are not harmful because they are at the correct proportion and concentrations. The pineal gland makes the unharmful alkaloid serotonin and melatonin. Aside from this, the body makes many toxic chemicals at the correct unharmful concentration such as alcohol, ammonia, bleach, hydrochloric acid, lye, sulfuric acid, etc. However, when synthetic, man-made, chemicals are consumed they bond and incorporate themselves into melanin and generate harmful chemical species that can attack the body at any given moment. This attack can be stimulated by normal body activity as well as negative emotions and social activities. Melanin-dominate black people are highly susceptible to these attacks because they consume synthetic chemicalized junk foods, beverages, drugs, and cosmetics. These chemical reactions are related to melanin-dominate black people who do not know they have studied melanin. Melanin is studied in chemistry, which is the study of chem, black melanin particles, called protons, electrons, neutrons, and solitons. However, the word melanin is never mentioned in European, Greek, chemistry. Melanin is studied in biology because the purplish, melaninated, brain of the cell called the nucleus is studied. However, the word melanin is never mentioned. Melanin is the chemical key to life in the brain's nucleus of all cells. In order for information to be transported to the brain, it must be in a liquid form. You see, hear, smell, taste, touch and feel life with your brain, melanin. Therefore, what I see, ears hear, tongue tastes, and nose smells, these sensations are converted into a liquid in order to get to the brain. The chemical of conversion or change is melanin. It allows you to be in contact with your inner body and allows your body to be in contact with life itself. The black race has the highest amount of melanin and has the highest contact with inner life, emotions, spiritual, subconscious, sublime, and extrasensory life. Melanin comes in many varieties and has multiple functional properties. A synthetic drug alters the functional properties of melanin. A synthetic drug that does not act upon melanin is not a drug. A synthetic drug must speed up, slow down, stop, or either destroy melanin to be a drug. Any of the bodice natural chemical substances or symbiotic virus, bacteria, or flora that is outside its range of positive usefulness in the body is unuseful. When it is labeled unuseful, it is given names such as free radical, toxin, harmful, parasite, worms and bacterial, viral, fungus, and yeast infection. The bodice natural chemical substances, bacteria, virus, fungus, and yeast can become out of positive usefulness from taking anti-melanin synthetic chemicals, drugs, processed and chemicalized junk foods, negative emotions and behaviors, and a polluted physical and social environment. Melanin acts and reacts upon chemicals. Melanin has a free radical behavior. It will attack harmful synthetic chemicals, i.e. preservatives, food additives, drugs, cocaine, crack, Viagra, caffeine, and attach to them in an attempt to transport them elsewhere or neutralize them. The harmful chemical incorporates into the structure of melanin, copolymerize. The harmful chemical and melanin become one molecule. This combined melanin and harmful chemical molecule is lodged throughout the body. Emotional stress, disease, physical stressors, junk food, cell phone, and computer radiation and drugs can cause the release of this combined melanin and harmful chemical molecule into the blood and into interactions with other chemicals, hormones, minerals, and nutrients. The combined melanin and harmful chemical accumulates in the body and can cause a toxic overdose. It can break down, depolymerize, or rain corporate, polymerize. Black people's cells have the highest melanin content. Cells build tissue and tissues make organs, organs make organ systems and organ systems constitute the body. 
The cell has an outer skin, membrane. The cell membrane has a bone-type structure called microfilaments, microtubes, cytoskeleton, and hair-like antenna. The antenna senses the liquid environment outside the cell, extracellular matrix. Melanin is the chemical that converts information outside and inside the cell. Liquid information such as nutrients, red blood cells, white blood cells, fats, enzymes, proteins, and hormones need to be constantly read by the melanin. The melanin is the bodus computer in a liquid form. It breaks down substances into small units, depolymerizations, and builds small units into larger substances, polymerizations. The information, data, travels on the neurological information highway, reticular formation, and is put on a monitoring screen of the brain, melanin reticular formation, and is read by the brain's frontal cortex. Information comes from the nerves to the spinal cord to the top of the brain stem to the medulla oblongata to the pods to the cerebellum to the cerebrum. The information highway can have traffic jams, blocks and detours caused by synthetic drugs, junk foods, toxic emotions, feelings, and spiritual distortions. The information highway, neurological pathway, problems can create a black person that is culturally homeless and seeking to serve European culture. Melanin has effects upon black people's social behavior and has an effect inside the body. Melanin is highly concentrated in the gastrointestinal tract of the digestive system, vagina, uterus, penis, sperm storage sac, seminal vesicle, ear, auditory nerves, eye, retina, iris, nervous system, etc. The synthetic drugs enter into the bloodstream and are carried all over the body. They are absorbed and interact with melanin in various local areas. These drugs combine, polymerizes, and form different chemicals similar to hybridizing the cells. The cells in local areas resonate or readjust to the synthetic chemical. This creates a type of freak cell similar to genetic modification invaders of the cell. The end result of this biological warfare done by synthetic social drugs and prescription drugs has not been calculated. Black people using illegal, crack, and legal, caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, drugs are a walking experiment with unknown results. It is not a matter of if black people will get sick and manifest more physical, mental, and spiritual diseases, it is a matter of when they will get sick. Parents that eat junk foods and consume drugs will birth chemically altered children. The main example of the destruction caused by synthetic drugs are the female's eggs. For example, an adult woman that is pregnant with a girl can damage the girl's eggs. A pregnant woman taking drugs, marijuana, and or alcohol, their immune system can fight the physiological effect. Despite the immune system's attempt to protect itself from the drug the pregnant woman will get high. The baby girl that she is pregnant with can fight the effect of the drug. However, the unborn baby girl will get high. All unborn girls have all the eggs they will ever have before they are born. Unborn girls do not grow eggs after they are born, they are born with their lifetime supply. The unborn girl's eggs have no immune system. The synthetic drugs have a direct effect on her eggs. The melanin in the eggs and ovaries connects to the drugs, polymerizes, forming a type of mental, physical, and spiritual genetic alteration. Simply put, the pregnant woman is chemically cloning a black person. The man's sperm has no immune system and the synthetic drugs has a polymerizing effect on it. The man's sperm becomes an alter sperm and in many ways becomes a freak sperm looking for a chemicalized freak egg that will birth freak children searching for white supremacy to serve and worship. Melanin's healthy impact upon black people is good and melanin that is altered or damaged has a bad effect upon black people. A black person's emotions and behaviors can be anti-melanin by adopting Caucasian culture as their primary or only culture. African cultural adultery is anti-melanin and is typical of black people that have no African cultural practices and seek or maintain ways to serve or entertain Caucasians, practice Caucasian types of relationships and sex. They eat Caucasian processed chemicalized junk foods. Anti-melanin black people have a lifestyle that allows them to be off their cultural whole foods, unprocessed, diet, which means they are off their culture. They are anti-melanin and out of their culture, out of their natural whole food diet and essentially out of their mind and into the Caucasian mind. 
Negative anti-melanin thoughts, states of consciousness, moods, as well as synthetic drugs cause electrons, minerals with an electrical charge, and melanin to go from a stable state to an excited unstable state. This results in DNA genetic damage and abnormal psychological states and physical illnesses. The negative unstable excited melanin state can cause toxic chemicals, species, that may result in the destruction of melanin and physical diseases. Melanin attaches to synthetic chemicals as a way to grab them and eject them out of the system. However, the continuous consumption of the synthetic chemicals oversaturates and spills the chemical into the bloodstream harming everything with a high melanin content, i.e. brain, sex organs, digestion. In fact, synthetic chemicals eaten get absorbed by the melanin in the digestive system, then go to the brain and sex organs. The digestive system dumps synthetic chemicals from the intestines into the liver then circulate in the blood. Synthetic chemicals decrease the liver's immune response, storage of nutrients and absorption of nutrients such as tryptophan. The amino acid tryptophan converts into serotonin which changes into melatonin. During the day serotonin increases while at night melatonin increases. Melatonin aids the growth and repair of tissue by controlling the cell's ability to increase its oxygen content which creates intracellular antioxidants. A melanin deficiency causes tissue to destruct or rust, oxidize. Low melanin causes free radicals to damage tissue. Melatonin helps to control prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are a type of fatty acid found in the brain, pancreas, kidney, prostate, uterus, thymus, and lungs. Some prostaglandins are similar to oxytocin and can cause reproductive problems when melatonin is low because of emotional, spiritual, physical, or disease stressors. Stressors can activate cortisol and adrenocortical hormone, hydrocortisone, which suppresses the immunity. A suppressed immune system causes many diseases. Diseases have an effect on your mind, mood, and state of consciousness. Consciousness is a cultural element. The culture educates a person to have awareness and awareness gives consciousness. Cultures use music, clothes, foods, dance, textbooks, myths, stories, religion, folktales, art and science to create a society. The smallest unit of a society is the individual. The individual is the mirror of a culture. The culture gives a person a belief system and beliefs give a person emotions. A reaction to your emotion is called a feeling. A feeling that lasts a long time is called a mood. In other words, feelings are based upon culture. Consequently, a black person that hears Chinese culture's music will not instantly get up and dance because they have no feelings for that music. There is no cultural connection. A black person that has been culturally castrated with post-traumatic slavery and or post-traumatic colonialism traumas will have a distorted consciousness. Added to this, a junk food, undernutrition, diet will decrease melanin and this causes a decreased consciousness. A black person with undernutrition will have physical, social, and mental problems. They will probably need to take a melatonin supplement. Melatonin supplement helps dopamine to calm the body and brain. Dopamine helps nerves to communicate with each other. It stimulates the hypothalamus and pituitary to release growth hormone, GH. Dopamine is required for the ability to sleep, fat gain and loss, sex drive, bone density, energy, the brain centers immunity and bodily motor control. Helps antibodies make corticosteroids a hormone from the adrenal gland that influences digestion and helps the liver make storage sugar, glycogen. Helps tryptophan to make serotonin. Increases oxygen absorption and life expectancy. Helps alkaline the system. Helps mental illness. The body will trigger melatonin because of noradrenaline, norepinephrine, low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, and dopamine. Melatonin is released as a reaction to a disease, emotional, spiritual, social, or science crisis. A Caucasian science crisis is caused by faulty distorted information that uses European theories, myths. The problem with understanding melanin is the sciences of Caucasians. Their sciences contains many, many myths called theories. And their science is white male-centered. For example, their belief, myth, 
and evolution is founded upon the idea that society was formed because men went away from home to hunt for animals. The facts are men, women, and children formed society. The herding of animals in primitive societies is done with nets, large nets for elephants, small nets for rabbits, fish, etc., and nets are made by men, women, and children. Society was not built upon the basis that man went off hunting. Hunting is a family affair. The foundation of psychology is based upon the behavior of a man called Oedipus. Oedipus is a boy in an ancient Greek fairy tale, myth, that physically lusts for sex with his mother. He killed his father and his mother lust sexually for her son Oedipus and married him. The use of this Caucasian psychology has distorted a black person's ability to think healthy and understand themselves. Psychology's root word is psyche. Psyche means butterfly. A butterfly has two wings. One wing represents good and the other wing evil. Consequently, good and evil are always at odds with each other. They are constantly fighting each other. If one moves, the other moves to counteract the other's movement. The wings moving is believed to make the mind think. Add to this belief is the belief that there are three divisions to the brain. There is ID the animal brain, ego that fights to control the animal brain with a human brain and superego the mother and father, society, that fights to control the ego human brain that is locked into a constant battle with the ID animal sexual lust brain. This Caucasian myth is the basis of their psychology and for black people to use this myth to understand their mind or science presents too many problems. This myth points to the lack of ability of Caucasians to reach higher levels of thought and physical function. Caucasians lack the genetic ability to produce, catalyze, significant levels of the heavy molecular weight melanin called eumelanin. Eumelanin has its highest content in black people. Caucasians have a pseudomelanin, pheomelanin. Their pseudomelanin, pseudo equals not a true melanin, can cause their spirit, mind and body to function below an optimum level and cause them to tend to have many diseases and disorders of the spirit, mind and body. Black people with the eumelanin can have the ability to manufacture and reproduce melanin by using sunlight, the amino acid tyrosine, the metal copper and perhaps compounds that use oxygen, peroxides, as a free radical. The free radical use of oxygen allows it to break down substances. This is similar to using oxygen to rust, break down, metal. This gives black people many different, improvisational, ways to utilize the chemical melanin and utilize spirit, mind, and body. How to measure melanin. There are many ways to measure melanin's biological, electromagnetic, hormone, and chemical activities. The potential, P, for hydrogen, H, which is called pH and the blood pressure can be used to test melanin. The pH is an electrical measurement of the saliva and urine. The saliva reflects the autonomic nervous system's parasympathetic nerves actions and reactions. The urine reflects the autonomic sympathetic activity. The test of the pH of saliva and urine samples is done after the person has not eaten or drank fluids, includes water, for two hours, then the sample's pH is read with color metric pH paper and the pH is recorded. There are levels in which melanin can deviate from normal. Melanin can be insufficient or deficient. A melanin insufficiency can be caused when the supply of melanin cannot meet the demand for melanin. The individual's body can demand excessive amounts of melanin to fight disease, air, water and noise pollution, radiation from computers and cell phones, synthetic drugs, social stress, negative relationship, emotional and spiritual stress. This high amount of demand cannot be met by an individual that consumes drugs and eats junk foods and does not use herbal medicine and whole foods to defend the body. A melanin insufficiency is indicated when the urine pH is below or above the normal 6.4 pH of urine. A melanin insufficiency is indicated when the systolic blood pressure number of 120 is below or above the normal range. Note, the blood pressure norm value of 120-80 in which the top number of 120 is the systolic. The systolic number as well as urine pH is related to melanin serotonin, the sympathetic nervous system, acidity, the usage of carbohydrates for energy, the left hemisphere of the brain, etc. See melanin energy classification. 
A melanin deficiency is indicate when the saliva pH is below or above the normal 6.4 saliva pH range. A melanin deficiency is indicated when the diastolic blood pressure number is below or above the normal 80 range. Note, the blood pressure norm value of 120-80, the number 80 or bottom number is the diastolic. The diastolic number, as well as the saliva pH, is related to melanin's melatonin, the parasympathetic nervous system, alkalinity, the usage of raw fats, i.e. nuts, seeds, avocado, the right hemisphere of the brain, etc. See melanin energy classification. A melanin deficiency can be caused when there is an adequate supply of melanin and the botus ability to use the melanin is dysfunctional, deficient. The botus metabolic and nerve, neurological, path malfunctions because of a weakened liver, pancreas, kidney, nervous system, respiratory system, reproductive system, and immune system. The liver can be damaged due to drugs, sodas, vinegar, and alcohol. The pancreas primarily gets damaged due to processed sugars and concentrated sweeteners. The kidneys get damaged from processed sugars and the poison sodium chloride, table salt, high blood pressure, and mineral congestion. The other bodily systems can be damaged by hormonal and gland problems that compromise the ability to utilize melanin. The malfunctioning organs, glands, and hormones cannot adequately process melanin. Therefore, it can be used by the body. Races of humans. Classification of races based upon melanin content inside the body and the skin. Six black, blue slash black, highest melanin content, Africans five black slash brown, brown native Indians, Mexicans, Malaysians, KWK, four brown, red native Americans, Japanese two and three yellow, mixed, mixed brown orientals one white, lowest melanin content, Caucasians. Health standards. Medical laboratory normal values, daily recommended allowances of vitamins and minerals, therapeutic dosages of herbs and drugs, baby formulas, disease reactions, human growth and development schedules, brain activity and psychology are all based upon the melanin content of Caucasians. The laboratory and scientific norm values have to be different for each race because each race is biochemically different. The laboratory standards test black people as if they are white people, then declare black people sick because blacks do not meet white standards. This is medical white racism. About the author. Layla O of Africa is a doctor of naturopathy, licensed acupuncturist, licensed medical massage. Therapist, certified addictionologist, treats all types of addiction, certified nutritional counselor, medical astrologist, spiritual counselor, marriage counselor, psychotherapist, and worked as a nurse in the military. He has treated people of all races for diseases and has lectured in North and South America, Europe, and Africa. He has been a leading pioneer in the African science field and his books such as African Holistic Health, been on Essence Magazine bestseller list for over 10 years and is the largest selling book of its kind, Nutricide, a book about harmful drugs and foods that black people consume, how to raise healthy black children from infancy to teenagers, a comprehensive text on parenting, children's behavior, growth, emotions, diseases and healthy foods and a history book titled The Gullah.